Today, November 20th, 2020, is being observed as World's Children's Day in many countries around the globe. This day was first recognized in 1954 as Universal Children's Day with the aim of promoting international togetherness and awareness among children worldwide and improving children's welfare. Additionally, this day holds significant importance as it is also the date on which the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Declaration of the Rights of the Child in 1959 and in 1989 they adopted the Convention on the Rights of the Child. This convention, which is an agreement signed by many countries of the world, including St. Lucia, who signed on September 30, 1990 and ratified it on June 16, 1993, seeks to define who is a child and what are their rights. It also lists government's responsibility in assuring that those rights are met. This year, my ministry, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, through the Division of Human Services, joins the rest of the world in celebrating World Children's Day under the theme, Reimagining the Future. This theme is very fitting this year as we navigate the changes brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, changes which has undoubtedly affected our children in a very profound manner. Reimagining the Future, in the context of our current environment of uncertainty, provides the platform for both adults and children to redefine the way in which things are done so that more positive outcomes can be accomplished. My ministry takes a serious stance on issues of child abuse, maltreatment and any other forms of abuse of children. We, together with the community, will provide an opportunity to envisage the future of children who are experiencing various forms of maltreatment and what can be done to assist them in overcoming these challenges to live up to their full potential in an environment con conducive to their growth and development. It begs of us to look intuitively at all aspects of life that affects children and plan for, from now ways in which children's rights can be continued to real be realized. Will we go back to what we knew as normal or will we now create another form of normal? This has to be taken in the context of policy and legislation, which will guide the manner in which we continue to interact and provide care to our children and their families. The Child Care Protective and Adoption Act, which my government passed in November 2018, has positioned us to continue the process of putting in place the necessary legislation, policies and protocols to ensure that the articles contained within the Convention of the Rights of the Child are adhered to. In light of this, the government of St. Lucia remains committed to ensure that all the rights of the child set out in the convention are met. This includes ensuring that every child is protected from all forms of abuse, neglect, violence and exploitation. In addition, this government is committed to every child having access to quality education and health care and to assist marginalized families so that they are able to provide their children with their basic needs such as food, clothing and shelter. Furthermore, this government believes that every child should grow and thrive in an environment where they feel loved, have a sense of belonging, cared for and are able to express their ideas without fear of victimization. Finally, as a father, I would like to inform everyone listening to me particularly the children of St. Lucia, that the government has recognized the need to create an enabling environment where the children can grow and thrive. Without this enabling environment, we have recognized that the future of those children, our precious gems, would be in jeopardy. It is therefore all our responsibility to reimagine the future in a manner that will allow for positive growth and development. To our precious children, let me assure you that you have a bright future despite what you may be going through or have been through. Regardless of the psychological effect of the COVID-19 pandemic, which may have caused worry, fear and anxiety among some of you, and your inability to attend school and to socialize with your friends, I would like to assure you that your future is still bright. You can still achieve your goals if you remain focused on your dreams and aspirations. 
to the parents, guardians, and anyone who has been entrusted with the care of a child, I would like to encourage you to continue to play that pivotal role in fostering and guiding your child throughout their developmental stages. This is an invaluable and irreplaceable role that has been set out for you. You have to ensure that your child has a good and remarkable future. So I am encouraging you to please spend quality time with your child, encourage them in productive activities, and provide them with emotional support and psychological support. I wish all St. Lucian children a happy World's Children's Day. I thank you. Thank you.